What's up, guys? So this is interesting to see. Um, this is in my my email. Uh, it's from Spiritual Singles, and this is something. This is a, a dating website, like a very obscure dating website that I signed up for. I think in like 2012, something like that. At least, at least 10, maybe 15 years ago been a long time since I had this in my email um, I'm not sure why I never deleted it I always just like it kind of ignored it um, occasionally I'll like click on it and look at it I've never I don't even think I have a account on there I've never or maybe I do have an account but I never go on there because it's like a they want your money and I don't even think you can message people so it's just like I'm not sure why I never deleted this but anyway um, they send me stuff like little tidbits of information and stuff and it's like sometimes I'll look at it I, th I think maybe that's why I never deleted it but it's interesting to notice how like um, if you read this you know so this is an online this is like a course this is an online group session will include valuable information for getting clear on what you are looking for as well as offer practices for leading with discernment and authenticity online uh, you will also learn how to stand out and attract potential partners on spiritual singles. So, like, if you if you break down that that sentence or that paragraph, um, it's talking to women in the first part, and then it's talking to men in the second part, right? The live online group sessions will include valuable information on getting clear on what you are looking for, as well as offer practices for leading with discernment and authenticity. Well, who's who's trying to be authentic? It's it's uh or, or, or who's trying to check for authenticity it's the women the women are trying to check for authenticity like they don't want to be lied to because who's mostly online uh uh looking for relationships women men are online looking for relationships yes but they're also online looking for sex women don't have to go online to look for sex right they can get sex anywhere they just go out to a bar and they get sex they just walk outside and talk to their neighbor and they could get sex I mean, you know, probably that's not the safest example, but um, they can get sex anywhere. They can go to a grocery store and a guy a guy looks at them and, and they can just, you know, go talk to the guy and get sex. It's not hard for women to get sex. So women are the ones who are looking for authenticity because they don't want to be lied to because by the time they're online, they're looking for a real relationship. I would I would say most women are probably not online or at least they're not on, on this type of website, spiritual singles, like they're probably not on there looking for hookups. If they're gonna be, be online looking for hookups, it's gonna be on Instagram, probably, or it's gonna be on Tinder, probably, or maybe some free site like Plenty of Fish or OkCupid. Maybe they'll, they'll be looking for hookups, but most of the time women are not online looking for hookups because they can get that anywhere. Um, so it's interesting to know who this is who this is directed to. You will also learn how to stand out and attract potential partners. Well, that's men. Men are the ones who need to stand out because women are the ones who are trying to pick the guy who is standing out. Women are the ones who are trying to pick the guy who is um, above and beyond the, the, the average 90% of guys, right? So it's interesting to note where we've come as a society where you have to be taught how to date you have to be taught you know how to stand out or how to pick authenticity right and it's this weird new thing where like our culture has transmorphed into this online thing which i consider like you know it's a cyborg pretty much a cyborg is like a human slash machine organism you know type of thing we're all we're all cyborgs because we're attached to our phones so much, right? It's a whole new culture that we're living in. We're so attached to our phones that they go with us everywhere we go. Probably we spend, on average, four to five hours a day looking at our screen, you know, on average. Some people spend more, some people spend less, but people are always on their phones, right? You got your phone with you everywhere you go. You're pretty much a cyborg, right? So it's a whole new culture, and we've, we're forgetting how to be normal, right? Our, our parents, our grandparents, et cetera, they used to know how to court. They used to know how to date, you know, for lack of a better word, they used to call it courting. But you go out and you meet somebody and 
it's all in person. It used to be. It used to be all in person. Now we got everything on. Well, I say everything's online because again, people still go outside, and a woman can go outside if she wants to get laid. But if you are online looking for a relationship, you know you are part of that that new culture. You know, um, and we it shows that the fact that this exists shows that we are in a new culture we're, we're, we're in a new age we have to be taught and told what to do you know like people don't know anymore how to pick up a good person and how do you pick somebody good online it's so limiting you see a small little sliver of what people present about themselves which is also why you know, I talk about this in other, in, in other videos, why women have become so narcissistic because they just put up attractive pics of themselves online and they get all this influx of attention, um, thirsting, right? Men are giving them compliments left and right, right? So it's this whole new form of narcissism. It's this whole new form of idolatry, right? And, um, Obviously, men can't, men for the most part can't do the same, right? So it's it's warped and it's and it's messed up a lot of the way pe people, particularly women, think is that oh I'm I'm this celebrity now because I go online and I just get a million guys inboxing me and I get a million guys complimenting me and telling me I'm so pretty, et cetera, right? That it's warped them. That that's not normal. That it didn't used to be like that. That's not. That's not uh, normal dating culture. That's not normal everyday life. It's something very warped. It's something very, um, you know, transmorphed into like just another thing that you know than it should be. It's worship. It's idolatry. You know, and that's what's a, a lot of it is what's warping our women today. A lot of it is what's um, you know messing up our women from being normal. Normal is hey, I go out and I meet somebody at a dance or a social club or at a party with friends or at a dinner with friends or whatever. And I meet that and that's how you used to meet people, right? Now you can go online. It's not that, again, it's not that people don't, you know, still don't go out, but now you can go online and you can find, you can find somebody easily. But it's to the point where people are being taught and told how to, how to look for somebody online it's a whole new ball game if you meet somebody in person you're like okay i can see i can feel their presence i can feel their aura i, I can listen to how they talk i can sense their charisma or i can I, I can get their sense of humor you can't get that over texting for the most part you can't get that over a message on a dating site for the most part you can sort of tell you know you can sort of tell how people are but it's very difficult to transmit that through texting transmit who you know your personality who you really are through an online dating site so they got these workshops to help people and it's just like this is obviously a money making enterprise right for these people you pay the money and they teach you and tell you how to it's it's bizarre you don't have to pay somebody money to teach you how to be a human being to teach you how to be yourself to teach you how to but the other thing is it's, let's say you do take these courses and you learn how to attract somebody. It's like, are you really being your authentic self? Or are you just learning how to attract somebody through a workshop? Learning how to attract somebody over a dating site? That might work for some people to like get to a first date. And let's say it works for some people to get to a point where you actually have a relationship. Is that really who you are? How long is it going to take for that person to see who you really are? right? You're, you're learning all these kind of manipulative tactics to get somebody to be attracted to you when you should just be who you should be who you really are so that you can find somebody who likes you for really you. And it's not just for, you know, a relationship. It's for whatever you want. You would want, even if it's just, oh, I just want to hook up. And I'm not saying that's what people should do is just go hook up. But let's say that's what you want. Would you really want somebody to, to hook up with you you know, this alter ego of you or this like manufactured workshop results of what, you know, in, 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 in any case, whatever your intention is, it's fake, it's phony, right? Oh, let me go, let, you know, let me go join this workshop so I can, you know, 
trick somebody into in, into sleeping with me or trick somebody into a relationship with me. Well, how long is it going to take for the real you to come out? See, investing in your love life takes time and focus. When you enter into dating wholeheartedly, your likelihood of attracting a match is amplified. What kind of stupid crap is that? Your glow and magnetism elevate. I know this course will help you manifest your life partner. I mean, what kind of nonsense is this? Manifest your life partner? Jesus. If you are really sincere about entering into a solid, healthy relationship, you, you'll want to join our workshop series, right? So, yeah, man, I mean, this is, uh, we're kind of, you know, teaching people how to freaking. and the other thing is, like, it's funny how women have to, uh, hire somebody, right, these dating coaches, like, and men do too, but it's, it's for different reasons, men hire dating coaches so that we can be more, so that we can get chosen more, Women hire dating coaches so that they can choose the right one. Isn't that interesting to note the difference there? Women don't have a problem getting chosen. They have a problem finding the perfect guy. So everything, so if, you, if you look at the differences between men and women, everything related to women is finding the perfect guy. Like, oh, find the guy who has all your, all your wishes and your standards. And for, for men, it's like, how do you stand out? How do you you know make sure you're more attractive than the other guys like that it's it's so funny how that works because it totally exposes the differences between men and women women don't have a problem getting men women have a problem getting the perfect guy they have a problem getting the guy that's going to check off all their boxes and that plays into their <coughs> excuse me that plays into their narcissism <coughs> excuse me it plays into their narcissism right it plays into their uh, wanting to be, uh, or wanting to have their cake and eat it too. Oh, I got to have the guy who checks off my 200 list box, right? How can I check for authenticity to make sure this is who this guy really is? One of the biggest things that pisses women off is, is when they get lied, quote unquote, lied to. Oh, he lied to me. And a lot of times what they mean by that is he's not who he portrayed himself as. And this is always a problem with women. For men, it's just like, their problem is like I just need to get laid I need to get women and then women will like diss men for that but the truth is is that they enjoy something that that men don't have access to women are women are having their cake and eating it too in one way or another sort of although it comes back to bite them in the end women are definitely sleeping around like they just are that's just a fact women are sleeping around while they're looking for Mr. Perfect right men are taking what they can get and we're actually being shorted in the end because we want just a quality girl for the long-term relationship, for a long-term love. We just want a quality, decent charactered woman who's, who's not going to be a problem to us. Men are very simple. Women just have all this weird standards. They have all this um, extra. They're so extra, you know, to the point where, like, if you say one wrong word or you do one wrong thing, they don't want you anymore. I mean, that's how... I don't know what the word is, but um, sociopathic almost is, is, is a, I mean, it's certainly narcissistic, but it's, it's, it's extra. It's above just basic narcissism, right? It's above basic narcissism because you say one little wrong thing. Oh, you know, I, I really liked him up until he mentioned that he liked the color green or up until he mentioned that, um, you know, he, he, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's a swimmer and I hate swimming or he has a cat and I hate cats or something. It's just like these little arbitrary things that don't matter. Women will just X you out. And it's like, how do you know that guy wasn't your other half? How do you know that guy wasn't the love of your life? This is how picky and choosy they've become because of social media, because of the internet, because they're able to, market their sexuality and market their beauty to such an extent that it's just it supplies their narcissism and I would venture to say that women are more narcissistic than men I don't know why that is I think because men have have a, a, a certain level of necessary pragmatism in their life meaning hey if I don't really always keep my you know eye on the ball and keep focused I could lose everything because a woman excuse me, because a man doesn't have a backup plan like a woman does. A woman can always fall back on a man. She can always fall back on like, 
marketing herself sexually in certain ways to get a relationship or to get a long-term um, marriage or whatever because all a woman has to do to be taken care of or to have housing to have her food needs met a lifestyle met all she has to do is market herself now what, what uh, unfortunately what happens when they do that is they they miss out on real love but look at the way they go about finding real love anyways. I would argue that the way they they find real love is not real love anyways. Oh, uh, the guy checks off your 200 box mark. He's he's six foot tall, got the abs, six figures, right? Uh, earning six figures, got, the, got a nice car, whatever, whatever. Has a $600,000 home, lives, you know, in a nice neighborhood, etc., right? Checks off all the boxes. Is that really love? You know what I mean? That that that's what I would argue, right? That's what I would argue, and I think it's different. It's the opposite for men. Yeah, we want sex. Like that's you know one of the things we, we men want. True, women want it too, and women have a lot more sex than men. J- just to let you know, but yeah, that's what men want, and and women are like, oh, that's all men want. No, it's not all men want. We want that, but it's not all men want. And the reason why we want it probably more than women is because we're in scarcity mode. We don't have access to it twenty four seven like like women do. Right, so women are like they always try to like make this uh make that to be some kind of point, you know, where like oh, men are less than us, and it's just there's always this like angle that they come to try to put men down. You ever notice that that there's always this subtle uh patronizing that women do towards men, and it's it's I don't know why I don't know what it is, it's just in their nature, it's just always like that, like they're always trying to subtly kick men they're always trying to subtly jab at men and throw us under the bus in one way or another it's like you do it too ladies you go out and sleep around too you want sex too the difference is that you're just more choosy than us and you're more choosy probably because nature made you that way because if you choose the wrong guy you got a baby with some guy that's wrong but yet they do that anyways which is funny it's like they they put so much emphasis on choosing right but they, they, they choose the wrong guys anyways because feminism lied to them. It told you, hey, you can go sleep around. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can, but you can't escape the consequences of that. And there will be consequences in one way or another. Whether it's you, f- you fell in love with a guy who didn't love you back, very common. Whether it's an STD getting more and more common. Whether it's a uh, abortion, which is unfortunately all too common because it's just sick right i don't want to talk about that but it's a sick thing and wrong immoral right very just terrible thing right in so many ways um there's consequences to your behavior so like oh yeah i want this perfect guy but let me go sleep around while i'm doing it you know and i'm not saying men don't do that too the difference is is that men just don't have the access to sex that that women do so men this is why men take what they can get and women get pissed at that because they're like why aren't men like us you really want us to be like us because it uh, 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 to be like you because if we were like you we'd be a lot more picky and you probably wouldn't get chosen because most of you are not hot you most of you are not supermodel hot most of you are not porn star hot you're maybe many of you are relatively attractive and and yeah men will sleep with a five out of ten whereas a woman it's always an eight out of ten or a woman is always this extra shit true but again if we started treating you like you treated us you wouldn't be able to handle it i've said this before and i'll say it again women can't could not handle being a man they could not handle the responsibility and the pain and the suffering that men have to go through because we're most most of us are alone most of us are in scarcity mode if you believe in hypergamy which is women want the 10 percent of men that the 90 percent of men don't make the cut which is a proven fact, really, if you study science, if you, you know, Google it, it's proven, hypergamy, right? If it were the other way around and women were in our shoes, they couldn't handle it. They could not deal with it. They could, I, I don't think women would last six months. Some people think they wouldn't last that long. You, it, it's hard being a man. We got to we gotta produce everything. We got to provide for everything. We got to do everything. Women just sit there and be pretty. It's true. It's true. You don't have to do anything. If a woman's out there working hard so that she can get a man, she's fooled. She's in deception. You don't have to. You just present yourself, right? The reason why women are doing that is because they're fooled. Is because they think that women 
uh, or, or, or no, they think that men choose them in the same way that, that, that women choose men. And it's not true. We don't care about your career. We don't care if you're an independent woman. That doesn't make you more attractive than us. We don't care if you're fierce and, and confident. That doesn't make you more attractive to us. We don't care about that. But it's projection. Women care about that. Women care that a man's confident. Women care that a man is a high earner. Women care that a man... Um, is independent and and a good provider. Women care about those things. Men don't. We look at life a lot more pragmatically. Hey, I don't want to deal with any stress. I've already got enough problems. I've already got enough responsibilities with work and and surviving. And I, I'm supposed to be the provider, etc. I don't need any more problems from a woman. I don't need any. I I don't. Um, I'm not looking for somebody to match me per se. Because why would? M- it doesn't make sense for a man to want somebody who's just like him. That's the whole point and beauty of a relationship is to want somebody who's your who's your complement. And, and and it's hard a lot you know you wouldn't think so, but a lot of times it's hard to find somebody who's like you who actually compliments you. A lot of times people who are in good relationships, they bring different things to each other, right? So if a woman is working 